speculation. It's not going to work because they didn't provide more authority to the shareholders, the mutual funds and labor pension funds, to control the country they own by controlling the orgies of excess of the bosses of these companies. And it's not going to work because they had virtually nothing for homeowners to avert the homeowner defaults and prevent homeowner foreclosure. And finally, it's pretty outrageous that although it was perfectly possible for the Congress, which had Wall Street over the barrel, it's, it was perfectly possible to make the speculators in Wall Street pay for the bailout. There are $500 trillion in derivatives transactions this year. $500 trillion. A one-tenth of one percent tax would produce $500 billion and set the stage for the speculators to bail out their own bailout with these minor taxes. A security speculation tax has its origins in funding the Spanish-American War, an imperialist war, unfortunately, and in the Civil War. There are countries in Western Europe that have a securities uh, tax. It is pretty unfair, I think, that you have hundreds of millions of people in this country who go into stores in states around the country and buy necessities of life and pay 5, 6, or 7 percent sales tax. When someone come or tomorrow on Wall Street can purchase 100 million derivatives of ExxonMobil and pay not a cent in sales tax. This is a massive collapse of congressional accountability, and I think what we're at in this country is the following. Over 230 years ago, there were 13 colonies and King George III. 230 years later, we have 50 colonies and King George IV. The principal difference is that King George III actually imposed a present time tax that outraged our revolutionary forebears. And King George IV is deferring that tax onto our children and grandchildren by massively increasing the public deficit. I urge all people in Maine to hold accountability sessions for any members of the Maine congressional delegation who voted for this unconscionable bailout, which will not even work for the purposes for which it's been advertised. That's the final dastardly cut. It won't even work. And the evidence for that was Friday and today's stock market. All over the world, stock markets are declining. And when they, it was believed that if the bailout was passed, the stock markets would start climbing again. That hasn't happened because they know it's not going to fix the problem. Thank you.